In this video, I am going to list 15 common symbols which we will be using while writing a chemical reaction. So, let's see. Plus symbol is used to separate two or more reactants or products. Arrow is used to separate the reactants from the products. Small s within bracket indicates the reactant or product in solid state. Small l within bracket indicates the reactant or product in liquid state. Small g within bracket indicates the reactant or product in gaseous state. AQ, aqueous, indicates the substance dissolved in water. Two half-headed arrow, one pointing in each direction, indicates the reversible reaction. In other words, the rate of forward reaction will be equal to the rate of backward reaction. Triangle symbol above the arrow represents that the reaction involves heating and these type of reactions are known as thermolysis. Electricity, written above the arrow, indicates that the reaction takes place on passing electricity and these type of reactions are known as electrolysis. H nu above the arrow indicates that the reaction takes place in the presence of light. These type of reactions are known as photolysis. In some reaction, you may see the symbol of metal mentioned above the arrow. It means that the reaction takes place in the presence of catalyst and these type of reactions are known as catalysis. When temperature scale is mentioned above the arrow, it indicates the temperature at which the reaction takes place. The downward arrow indicates the formation of precipitate on the product side. The upward arrow indicates the product in gaseous state. Reactions will not take place if the conditions are unfavorable. In such cases, no product will be formed which is indicated by NR, that is no reaction. Hope so, now all are familiar with the basic symbols which we will be using in the chemical reaction. In the next video, I will be teaching you how to balance chemical equations. Thank you.